Hi viewers. You are watching Millennium Academy Accounting Hub. Important key points of this lecture include. What is a perpetual inventory system? What is a periodic inventory system? How to make entries under the periodic and perpetual inventory system? Perpetual inventory system. A perpetual inventory system updates the merchandise inventory account after each purchase and after each sale. Periodic inventory system. A periodic inventory system merchandise inventory is updated only once each accounting period at the end of the period. A comparison of entries under periodic and perpetual inventory systems. Transaction 1 purchased on credit 20 units of merchandise for $10 per unit. Under the periodic system the journal entry will be Purchases account debit with the amount of $200. $200 is the total cost of 20 units. The periodic system uses a purchases account as a title of account when merchandise is purchased. Accounts payable credit with the same amount. Perpetual inventory system. The perpetual system does not use a purchases account. Instead, the cost of the items purchased is debited directly to merchandise inventory. Journal entry will be Merchandise inventory account debit with $200. Accounts payable credit with the same amount. Transaction 2 returned 5 units of merchandise inventory originally purchased in 1. Periodic system journal entry will be Accounts payable debit with the amount of $50. Purchases return and allowances account credit with the same amount. The perpetual system credits the cost of purchase returns directly to the merchandise inventory account instead of using a purchase returns and allowances account. Transaction 3 sold 8 units for $300 cash. Journal entry will be cash account debit with the amount of $300 because asset increase in business. Sales account credit with the same amount because revenue increase in business. The perpetual system requires two entries to record the sales, one to record the revenue and another to record cost of goods sold. The perpetual system uses cost of goods sold account. In the periodic system the elements of cost of goods sold are not transferred to such an account. Instead they are transferred to income summary in the process of recording the closing entries. Transaction 4. Closing entries. Under the periodic system, all of the cost elements related to inventories are transferred to income summary. Transaction 4. Closing entries. Under the perpetual inventory system, those cost elements were already recorded in a cost of goods sold account. Thus the closing entries simply transfer the balance in the cost of goods sold account to income summary account. Sales accounts also transfer to income summary accounts. If you like a video then please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for regular updates.